Okay, so what do we need for this tutorial? Obviously your best friend, Arduino Duo. One switch, this is a mom momentary switch. A variable resistor, but or potentiometer. Also known as a pot, the value uh, value of 10k. A resistor. 10k re resistor and some wires. Okay, so let's start to do this. Okay, first take the momentary, as you see here, the momentary switch has four legs. If you put here, so here. And here it's one switch, and this and this is another switch. So when you press down, it's gonna connect to each other. Okay. So we place the switch down the board anywhere you want. You should be careful not to, not to break it. Oops. Here we go. Nice and firm. There we go. Very nice one. Second, we're gonna connect the potentiometer down here. There we go. It's a bit hard, but we can do it. Okay, so the next step is to connect the ground of the Arduino board to not that switch yet, but anywhere in the board, I'm gonna put my over here. And to connect as well the ground to the potentiometer. It's just here. There we go. Now we're gonna connect the resistor from the ground to the pin of the switch just like this as you can see here and then we're, connect, we're gonna connect the power the 3.3 .3, and you should be careful not to connect a 5 volts uh, it just be signed the 3.3 .3, so make sure you put 3.3 .3. okay so you're gonna connect 3.3 .3 to the other leg of the switch and then we can take this 3.3 .3 power and put on the other leg of not the middle one but the other side of the potentiometer. Now you're gonna connect the wires to the pins so Arduino can read the val values of the of the switch switch and the, over there. So we're gonna connect uh, this down here this together with the resistor and put on number seven. There we go. Also, we need to read the potentiometer over here. So we're gonna connect to the center pin of the potentiometer and put on the A0, just over here on the analog in section. Yes, let's save first. So I'm gonna call reading because I'm gonna read two types of uh, values. Okay, so first you need to assign pin 7 and pin A0 to a variable. How you do this? through the const int 
I'm gonna call switch pin equal to 7 which is gonna be our digital reading and also const int pot pin to a0 which is going to be our analog reading so inside the setup I told you earlier that we're gonna start to use the serial monitor to print some messages to the, for debugging our code so it is we start the serial monitor by doing the serial dot begin oh, sorry two main dots begin and 9600 which is the dash about rate that Arduino has to connect with the PC uh, also we need to tell Arduino that we want to use the pin 7 as output how we do this through the pin mode function so we pass it first statement as switch pin and we tell them as inputs okay inside the loop we're gonna start to read the potentiometer value um, however as uh, the potentiometer is turned uh, the microcontroller it transforms its value to a range between 0 to 1000 so from 0 to 1023 so this is the value we we will expect from the pot so we we read this value through int i'm gonna call uh, pot value this should be easier to understand equal to analog read uh, also have to pass the, the pin so is a pot pin there we go uh, now we want to print out the pot value to the serial monitor okay which will be from 0 to 1023 uh, how we do this for the serial dot print first I'm going to display some some fixed value I'm going to put pot value semicolon there we go and as well serial print pot value so is the actual reading from the potentiometer okay uh, I also want to calculate uh, the voltage which is passing through the potentiometer so it's easy all we need to do is declare a float variable I'm gonna call voltage and then we do the pot value times uh, the range of the voltage which is 0 to 3.3 .3. so the maximum is 3.3 .3. so we divided this value for the maximum value of the of the translated uh, from the microcontroller which the value for the microcontroller is 1023 1023 there we go uh, now I'm gonna print out also to print out the voltage that's very nice uh, it's the same step as before serial dot print however I'm gonna also display some fixed message there we go and serial dot print voltage okay so now we finished reading and uh, calculating the voltage now I want to read the switch pin the state of the 
of the switch. So, uh, rig. Oh, sorry. So I want to rig the state of the button if it's pressed or not, which is gonna be rather zero or one. Okay, how we do this uh, is for int. I'm gonna call switch um, switch value equal digital read. I have to specify which pin I want to read from, which is the switch pin. Now I want to print out the button value or the value state uh, is depends how you want to to call it is the same as before zero dot print i'm gonna display some mass fixed message um, this is the button i'm gonna call here state there we go all done and serial dot print however here i'm gonna use another function called serial dot print ln uh, which after it prints the switch value it's going to give a new line after on the next reading also we need a little delay for stability to give some time to the microcontroller to set it down and start to read again so that is our whole code for the program for this, this example so first we're gonna save it and then we're gonna verify oh we have some some error somewhere online 29 expect the token okay I find where the little mistake over here no just one second oh yes the the delay delay one and then I put the semicolon so verify again it's compiling let's check check and everything is okay now so let's upload to the arduino hit the upload button it's gonna compile again and it's gonna upload directly to the arduino domain There we go, everything is done. So to open the serial monitor, you have to come here on the right hand side where there is a little uh, magnifier. So you press it, you're gonna come up the serial port and some values. Okay, so this is the reading from, I'm gonna press the button. As you can see, the button state is already changing from one from 0 to 1 so when I press it you keep press it is 1 when I release it's go back to 0 and from the potentiometer if I turn it you see it goes from 0 the voltage as well you see to 1020 it's supposed to be 1023 but remember that uh, Electronic components, there's always a percentage of accuracy. It can be 20 percent less or 20 percent more, depending on which component is it. So that's why it doesn't give a 1023, 20, but it gives a nice example for us.